Hello and welcome to IES Lite's quick start video for V-Ray for Revit. In this third video about using lights in V-Ray for Revit, we'll go over using IES files. If you have not seen our earlier two quick start videos on lighting in V-Ray for Revit, check them out for a quick foundation on interior and exterior lighting. Launch Revit and load the project file IES.RVT from the downloaded assets from the tutorial's webpage linked below. You'll be able to use this project with Revit versions 2015 and up. With the project loaded, we'll now need to import our V-Ray settings. Click the V-Ray tab and select Settings. Click Sharing and choose Load Settings and load IES.XML file included in the downloaded assets. Click Import Selected. This imports a few V-Ray for Revit settings like EV value and V-Ray material settings. Change your current view to Render. Keep the quality at Draft and the resolution at 800 by 600. Turn on artificial lights and make sure the environmental light is off and that the exposure value is 8.5. Render your view. Now we're focusing work on the sconce lights here on the wall. Right now they're using a generic IES file that comes with Revit. Close the window and select one of these sconce lights and click on Edit Type. At the bottom of the UI here you'll see the photometric web file is set to generic.ies. Click here to be able to change it out. In the file dialog, select TLAE1A21.IES from the IES folder that was originally installed with Revit, and then click OK. You'll notice that the shape for the photometric light has changed in the project. Open the VFB again, and select a region around the lights and render to see the new IES file being used. The geometry of the sconce is blocking some of the photometric web, which is causing these harsh shadows, which you may be perfectly fine with. However, lighting manufacturers usually account for the housing of the lights in the IES profiles. So if you want to have the IES profile not blocked by the geometry of the light fixture, we'll need to make sure that the light shines through the geometry, just like we did in our first lighting quick start video. This is accomplished in the material, so open the material browser. For the Show Material Mapping option, select Mapped from the pull-down menu and the sconce material is listed. Expand the UI and edit the material through the material editor. In the Advanced tab, scroll to the bottom for the Options section and uncheck the Cast Shadows box. Now save your material. Select a new region in the VFB and when you render, you'll see that the geometry of the light's housing is no longer blocking any of the photometric web. So, IES files are supported, but V-Ray for Revit also supports editing the options for the light source in the family as well. Now I'm going to close out of these windows and then click on the family here and then choose edit type to edit the family. Scroll to the bottom, and you can see all these parameters supported in V-Ray rendering. With the initial intensity value set to zero, this means that the intensity of the light is defined directly in the IES file itself. If we want to dim the light, for example, we can adjust it here by entering a value of, let's say, 100 lumens, as that will override the IES file's intensity with this new lower setting. We can also change the temperature of the light by clicking on the initial color and changing color preset to custom and then setting a color temperature value of 4000 Kelvin. The dialog shows you a preview that our light is now warmer than before. So click OK and then OK again. Render that region from before and the IES has been adjusted to be warmer and much dimmer than what we had before. Let's go ahead and see a final render. Turn off Region Render, set the quality to high and the resolution to 1152 by 864 and click to render. 
Now, as our render resolves, we'll elapse a little time here. As you can see, using IES files with V-Ray for Revit is pretty straightforward, as is adjusting the light profiles to make them look exactly the way that you'd like. Thank you for joining us for this quick start video on using IES lights in V-Ray for Revit. Thank you.